Life in a place far from the city, the internet and daily urban worries is something I always dreamt of. So, myself and some friends packed our bags in search of adventure. Here's some of what went down. So I don't know how much experience you have with camping. We are in the rainforest, so we have a big camp that will rain tonight. Okay. okay. But we'll survive. You'll survive, you are stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So can we see the, uh, the camping ground? Okay, well, we'll so nice. go first to the camping ground, and then we will go to the toilet. Established in 1991 to rehabilitate and breed endangered drill monkeys, Afia Drill Sanctuary is indeed one of the world's most successful programs saving endangered species. Afia Drill Sanctuary is indeed an adventurous delight as it is strategically nestled between mountains with breathtaking views and the jungle. Yeah. This rope here, and after he put it back. morning and I'm in a feed drill and uh, I had quite a night uh, I camped under a tent and uh, was a cool experience uh, listening to rain hit the leaves of the trees it was uh, a really good experience listening to the um, birds chirping insects and all that stuff just felt very cool. I think it's perfect for some Wulos adventure and it's quite romantic also. Afiodri Sanctuary is indeed an adventurous delight as it is strategically nestled between mountains with breathtaking views and the jungle. It is worried to know that the drill monkeys are unique to certain parts of Africa like Cross River in Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea and Cameroon. The sanctuary boasts of cabin for accommodation and a camping site for adventurers who wish to set up their tents. Don't look down, just look here, yes. It's all looking beautiful in the woods, yeah? The canopy is quite thick up there. Minister! Hi, your cardigan. of these animals here is for us to keep giving them a home like this and that's the only way we can uh, control their population also because if they increase more than this the space we have here will not be okay for them because they, if they grow up if, if they increase to let's say times two of this this enclosure is not enough for them anymore so we need to check for a bigger enclosure but with this number like 30 of them here this enclosure is okay for them and we can keep them we don't want to replace them all of them are being fucked up sorry about the f word they are messed up around by the people keeping them in their house as pets so they don't have any life anymore hmm? so they will be here till they die they can't survive outside they can't survive outside if any of them escape from here it's going to locate where humans are and then go to their house you understand which is going to be dangerous to the people around there and also the animal they can't like one of them here escaped into the wild and for 
<laughs> five years and then came back by himself. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's meant for him. <laughs>